Hi everyone, I'm Jeremiah. I'm a hospital outreach specialist for the Hole in the Wall Gang camp. Welcome to Cabin Chat Cartoon Corner. Today we'll watch a short movie I made over the past month. It's an animated comic strip called The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy. After the movie, I'll give you a few ideas and tips for making your own comic strips, cartoons, or comic book art. Okay, before we get the show started, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I love comic books. I've loved comic books, cartoons, and anime since I was a kid. Do you have any favorite cartoons, comic books, or animated TV shows? I bet you do. My favorites are Tintin, Calvin and Hobbes, Looney Tunes, Japanese anime by Miyazaki, Teen Titans Go, and of course... SpongeBob SquarePants, just to name a few. I still have my comic books I collected when I was a kid. Anyways, a few years ago, I made these mini comic books when I was teaching an after-school comic book art class for middle schoolers. These were the beginnings of the movie we'll see today. Okay, well then I think it's now time to start this mini movie premiere. I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. There are three chapters to the story, so let's start off with episode one. Please get comfortable, sit back, relax, and we hope you enjoy the show. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy, Episode 1. It is night in Ant City. All is quiet. All is well. Or is it? Oh, no! Ant Queen's throne. The Ant Queen is missing! Why, why, why? Look, there is a note! Your queen has been kidnapped. Bring $500,000 to the snake pit by dawn. The sky is soon lit up with the banana signal. Soon after, in the banana cave, Banana Man! 101, 102, 103, 104. Ooh! Later that same night. Don't worry, Aunt Dudes. We'll get the queen back. My hero! Banana Man and Egg Boy head to look for some clues at Vroom! Snake Pit, two miles. But little do they know that a trap has been set by a mysterious enemy. What will happen next? Ha 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 ha! Stay tuned for the exciting end. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy Wow, that was exciting. Who was that mysterious enemy? Will the Ant Queen ever get back to Ant City? And what's the deal with Egg Boy? I guess we'll have to find out next time on Cabin Chat Cartoon Corner. Oh, wait a minute. It is next time. Yay! Let's watch Episode 2, The Return of the Ant Queen. The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy in The Return of the Ant Queen, Episode 2. Trapped in the Snake Pit, how will our heroes ever escape? In the last story, Banana Man and Egg Boy were on the way to the Snake Pit to find the lost Ant Queen. Vroom! Snake Pit, one quarter mile. As they get out of the Banana Mobile, Egg Boy has a strange feeling. Banana Man, stop! I see the Ant Queen! Yay, I'm free! Do you hear something? Oh no! What have I done? This is snake bait! <laughs> Egg Boy to the rescue! Uh, yeah. 
Egg Boy throws his rotten egg bombs at all of the snakes. Plop, plop. Gross. Yuck. Thanks, Egg Boy. Your stinky eggs saved us. Egg Boy is my hero. They race back to Ant City to return the queen. The ants are happy to have the queen back. Yahoo! But who was the evil genius who kidnapped you, Ant Queen? I never saw his face because he wore a mask. Who was the masked villain? Find out next time in the adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy. I'll get you next time, Banana Man. The adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy. Whoa! So much to talk about. So much to unpack. Like, imagine going into a snake pit. Nope. Nope, nope, no way I would ever do that. And then there's Egg Boy. Goodness gracious, he sure saved the day. But what we still don't know is, who was the masked villain? I'll give you a hint. He's like an insect, has sticky traps, and some people are afraid of them. Also, he has more than seven legs. Okay. Well, I think we're ready for the conclusion of our story, episode three of this adventure. Let's check it out, shall we? The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy In Enter the Spider, episode three. Watch out, Banana Man! In the last episode, our hero saved the Ant Queen from a mysterious masked villain. Today we find out who the sinister scoundrel really is. At the Banana Cave front door, a visitor appears. Banana Cave. Knock, knock. The door opens. A pair appears. Hello? Hello? My car has a flat tire. Can you help me? My car is parked right over here. Whatever you need. <sighs> Let's get the spare tire first. Unzip. I don't see it. Ta-da! Swoosh. Not again. I've fallen into another trap! Mumble, mumble. Hee <laughs> hee! The masked villain finally reveals his true identity. I am Spider Guy! Yikes! It's go time! Egg Boy trained years for this. He remembers his karate drills as a young egg. He lets out his best fighting spirit shout. I Huh? A fierce showdown ensues. Web spray! Fried egg! Kaplow! Zing! Great shot, egg boy! Our heroes jump into action. Karate kick! Crunch! Spider Guy sees his chance to escape. Will the bad guy get away? Oh no, fate had a different plan on this day. I'm out of here! Banana peel! Slip! I knew I left you somewhere. They return to Ant City to deliver Spider Guy to justice. Ants of Ant City, here is your queen's kidnapper. Take him away. Yay! Hooray! Boo! You haven't seen the last of me. Oh, what a tangled web of traps I always weave. Gulp, you'll run next, Spider Guy. 
Night falls in Ant City. All is quiet again. All is well. Or is it? The end? The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy And we're back. So that was The Adventures of Banana Man and Egg Boy. We hope you liked the movie. Also, if you have any suggestions for what adventures Banana Man and Egg Boy should go on next, let us know. I'm thinking either they go on a trip to the moon, or maybe a place called Fruit Fly Island, which sounds like a warm and tropical place to me. All right. At the beginning of the show, I mentioned we'd have some tips for making your own comic strips, cartoons, and comic book art. One of the simplest ways to make your own comic book is to take two or three pieces of paper, fold them in half, and then staple along the fold. That's how I made the first Banana Man and Egg Boy comic book. Or you could make a comic strip by taking a piece of paper and starting off with just a couple of boxes like this and tell a little story in just those frames. I recommend making your characters pretty simple because you might be drawing them over and over again. For me, I made my main characters in the shape of a banana and an egg with just a couple of details. Also, think about how other people will read your comic strips. You want it to make it easy for other people to read, so you might want to write the letters and the words carefully. Sometimes a pencil and an eraser are your most important tools, so you can easily fix any mistakes or if you need more space. But the most important tip I can give you is to have fun. Comic book art is supposed to tell a story, whether it's long or short, even if it's just a drawing of a single character you came up with. Like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, and I know we all have awesome imaginations and great stories to tell. Well, that's it for today's Cabin Chat Cartoon Corner. I hope you're able to join us next time. See you all later. Hope you have a great day. Bye.